So the topic for me today to discuss is uh, what really matters for surgical anesthesia during plexus and peripheral nerve block. Is it the guidance device that is ultrasound versus PNS or the drug volume concentration or is there any missing link? So the objectives is to know about what are all the conditions that we should meet to produce complete conduction blockade of an axon. That is the first thing. What basically we need to produce a complete conduction blockade of an axon. That's the first thing. And then secondly, to understand how the spinal anesthesia works, because that is the benchmark. If you get your block close to the spinal anesthesia, and that's what we all of us need. So, and then third thing is to understand what is the anatomical difference between the axons inside the intrathecal space and inside the plexus and peripheral nerves. Once we understand this difference, then we know how to circumvent this difference to achieve a consistent and effective surgical, surgical anesthesia during our blocks. I want to have few disclosures and acknowledgement. I heavily used images from these two books. One is from Miguel Reina, Atlas of Functional Anatomy for Regional Anesthesia and Pain Medicine. So I recommend every regional anesthesia enthusiast should have this book in their hand. And I have some images from Nettersel, so for better explanation. Actually, I use these images under a fair claim in a copyright process because I use these images to educate in a bigger society. I don't have any commercial value for that. So with that disclosure, let us move on to the topic. First to look at, as you all know, the impulse progression through axon jumps from one nodes of Raniver to the other. And uh, the sodium channels are concentrated in the nodes of Raniver. And they, it is basically by depolarization of the sodium channels at the nodes of Raniver. So during a normal conduction, the action potential jumps from the one node to the other so that it is much faster and it is separated by an area of uh, myelin insulation. Uh, because of this conduction, that is known as a solitary conduction, jumping from one node to the other, the speed may increase sometimes up to 200 uh, meters per second uh, in a A alpha fibers. So now uh, the two nodes, that is the one node of Raniver and the other node is separated by about two mm. It can range from 20 microns to 2000 micron. That means 0.2 mm to two mm is an internodal distance. So during a normal conduction, suppose if there is an issue in one node of Raniver, the action potential can jump from the first one to the second node of Raniver. Suppose if there is any issue on the third node of Raniver, the action potential can jump to the fourth one. So 